ចំណុចជាតិអាតាមរយៈជំនឿគ្មានអ្វីដែលពិបាកសម្រាប់ព្រះជាមចាស់នៅឡើយអាមែនប្រមាណឆ្នាំមុនខ្ញុំបានមាន
in a time where they had a communist dictator. Her mother and father were pastors. They loved God with all their hearts. But if you were caught talking about Jesus, you were thrown in prison. So Sarah was born during that time. When she was 15 years old, communism fell in their country. They began to spread the gospel, to preach the gospel. Everything was going good. When Sarah was 18 years old, she met a young man. He loved God, wanted to be a pastor. So they fell in love. When she was 20, they got married. They started a church. Had two kids. Their life was great. When she was 25 years old, her and a friend went out in the fields and were picking olives. And she has climbed up in a tree, was out in a limb, picking them. All at once, she heard the limb crack. She tried to get back to the trunk of the tree. But she didn't make it and fell all the way to the ground. Sarah began to scream. Pain was all through her body. Her friend ran down the olive tree and, and ran over to Sarah. And she knew she couldn't help her. She had to run to the town to get help. They finally got back and saw she was in serious trouble. The small town she lived in, the hospital, they couldn't help her. They had to take her to the capital city. When they got to the hospital, they immediately took her into the surgery. And her mother and father and husband was waiting for a long time in a room. They were worried what was going on. Finally, they rode Sarah into the room, but she was still asleep. And then finally, the doctor came in. And this is what he said. She almost severed her spinal column. She'll never walk again. She'll be in pain the rest of her life. A young mother, 25 years old, with two small kids. The father, the mother, the husband was crying. All at once, they heard a voice. Sarah woke up. She said, no, that is not going to happen. My God loves me too much to let me live like that. He will heal me. Well, the mother and father and husband were shocked. Two weeks later, they took her out of the hospital home. They put her in a bed because she couldn't move. Her mother and friends had to take care of her. 
Day after day, they came by to see her. And they would say, Sarah, we feel sorry for you. Sarah said, Why? God said, She never gave up. After about a month, she told her husband, Go get some crutches. I'm going to walk. Husband said, No, you're not strong enough to walk. I'm going to walk. So reluctantly, he went and bought crutches. And day after day, she tried to walk. She never walked, but she learned to move herself with her upper body. Now this went on for two long years. In pain, not walking. But Sarah kept saying, God is healing me. But Sarah One day she was listening to the radio. And heard they were going to have a healing conference in Toronto, the capital city of Albania. So she got the phone call to see if she could come. And they said, sure, anybody can come. She couldn't wait till her husband got home. She told him, I'm going to that conference. He said, you're crazy. You can't do it. She said, I'm going. He goes and gets the mother and father and tells them the same thing. They tell her the same thing. She said, if I go, I will walk again. So finally, the time came. And they brought her to the conference. We were standing out front as people came in for the, it was a three day healing conference. We knew nothing about Sarah. When the car pulled up and she started getting out, we went to try to help her in the building. She says, I don't need any help. So that, later that day, everybody was there and we were kind of getting to know each other. And Sarah told her story. I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk. God's going to heal me this. Well, everybody in the crowd got excited. They wanted me to let's pray for her right then. But we waited later that day. We prayed for her. Nothing happened. Sarah says, well, the next day I will walk. The next day we prayed for her three times. She never walked. Everybody in the crowd was getting discouraged. But Sarah. I was admit, I was getting discouraged. So the next morning was our last day. She come in and said, everybody, this is the day I will walk. Now, folks, she didn't say it. She shouted it. With a smile on her face. So everybody wanted us to pray right then. So I 
decided we would. The minute we set her in a chair, the minute we laid hands on her, she began to scream. You know, we didn't know what had happened. For the first time in two years, all the pain was gone. Now, we had For the first time in two years, all the pain was gone. She said, Help me up. She said, Help me up. She said, Help me up. She said, she was very weak. She hadn't used these legs in two years. So we helped her. We kind of drug her down the aisle for a few steps. Then she took a little step. Then took another one. And then pushed us away. And began to run around the building. Folks, how many of us can have that kind of faith? You see, she believed the promises of God. She believed when he said, I am the Lord who heals you. When the Bible says, I will take all sickness from you. She never doubted them. Her faith brought healing into her body. You see, God's healing power is available anytime, anywhere, for anyone. All we have to do is believe a promise of God. Reach out and receive what we need. And don't give up until you receive it. You see, like Sarah, all we have to do is believe the promises of God. But we can't get on our knees and say a simple prayer. And get up and say, well, I didn't get it. That's not faith. You know, God loves every one of you in this room. Loves you so much. You know, the Bible says He's preparing a mansion for each one of us in heaven. Place where there's no sickness, no disease. Only love, peace, joy. Where we will live with him forever. He loved us so much, he sent his son. He died for you. For me. But the Bible says he also took stripes on his back for your healing. You know, it's often easy for us to hear the plan of salvation and receive the gospel salvation. Receive but can we believe all the other promises in the Bible? What about Philippians 4.19? I will supply all of your needs according to my riches in glory. You believe that promise? What about Matthew 21, 22? Whatever you ask for believing, you will receive. That's a promise of God. What about in Mark? Where it says, those, to those who believe, you 
will lay hands on sick people. And they will be made well. Promise of God. Can we believe those promises? What about Psalms, one of my favorite scriptures, 103 verse 3. Who forgives all your sin. I believe that all my life. What about, what about the rest of that scripture? Who heals all your diseases. It's a long part of my life. I didn't believe that. But most of my life, I never heard anything about signs and wonders. Then I realized it's for every believer. Every one of us should walk in God's healing power. You shall lay hands on the sick. And they will be made well. Can we believe those promises? Remember the scripture that David, what David said? I pray so that I could believe where I could see. So many of us want to have to see it before we believe it. But when you start believing, that's when you will see it. Folks, God is a healing God. He wants us to walk in divine health. So just believe the promises of God. And believe like Sarah, no matter how long it takes, don't give up. We see miracles all the time. We'll see some people healed tonight. Hopefully everybody gets healed. And a big part of you will receive healing. I hope everybody gets healed tonight. But I know when we pray for you, God's doing something. You believe that. Keep praying, your healing will, will come. Do you all believe God is a healer? Amen. Amen. He wants to heal you guys tonight. Too. You know, man. I can stand up and tell you hundreds, maybe not quite like Sarah, because I haven't seen people like her. But we can tell you stories of stories, people born without eyes, right before our eyes. Man cut off his thumb, God grew one right back in front of us. It's man. So nothing is impossible for God. ហើយខ្ញុំសង្គមថាព្រះបន្ទូលនៅថ្ងៃនេះពិតជាលើកទឹកចិត្តនឹងផ្ដល់កម្លាំងទៅដល់លោកអ្នកបងប្អូនអស